Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out the Film Geek, and welcome to the second annual 12 Days of Christmas. I'll be spending the next 12 days releasing movie spotlights that center around the holiday of Christmas. Now look, I know there's a lot of opinions floating around out there on what a Christmas movie actually is. Now here, this is just my opinion. A Christmas movie is any movie that takes place during Christmas. It doesn't have to be about Christmas, it just has to have Christmas somewhere in the film, and so then making it a Christmas movie. All right, so let's get this party started with our first spotlight film, and that's 1974's Black Christmas. He's expanded his act. Could that be one person? No, Claire, that's the Mormon Tabernacle Choir doing their annual obscene phone call. Black Christmas is directed by Bob Clark, and it's starring Olivia Hussey, Margaret Kidder, and John Saxon. During their Christmas break, a group of sorority girls are stalked by a killer. Inspired by the urban legend The Babysitter and the Man is Upstairs, and a series of murders that took place in the Westmount neighborhood of Montreal, Quebec. A. Roy Moore wrote a screenplay under the title Stop Me. The filmmakers made numerous alterations to the script, primarily the shifting to a university setting with the young adult characters. It was shot in Toronto in 1974 on an estimated budget of $620,000 and was distributed by Warner Brothers in North America. Black Christmas was released October 11th, 1974, and the film grossed $4.1 million on that $620,000 budget, so the film was quite the financial success in theaters. However, the film was beaten up pretty good by the critics at the time, but the film has been reevaluated and it's now a very popular cult classic. In fact, in 1986, Olivia Hussey met with producers of the film Roxanne to play the title character. Now, in this meeting, she met co-star Steve Martin. Steve Martin said, oh my God, Olivia, you starred in one of my favorite movies. Now, Olivia thought that Steve was talking about the 1968 film Romeo and Juliet, but no, he was talking about 1974's Black Christmas. He then admitted to Olivia that he had seen the movie at least 27 times at this point. So what do I like about this movie? This is one of my favorite slasher films, or I guess you would say pre-slasher films, however you want to look at it. But anyways, this is one of my favorite ones because you never learn much about the killer, and I love that. I like when the killer has these really crazy reasons, but you never know why. They just start suddenly killing people just, just for no reason whatsoever. That's my favorite kind of slasher. Just the ones that don't need an excuse. They're just like, hey man, you're here, so uh, you know, you're gonna have to die. Also, too, you never even see the killer's face. Everything is told from the perspective of the killer. So every time there's a kill, you're looking through the eyes of Billy. And, and then that's another thing, too. How do we even know Billy's his name? He just says Billy's his name. So again, you can't really trust him. He is the murderer. These are things about this film that I really like. Also, this film is said to have a connection with another of my favorite slasher films, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. Now, in that film, Scott Wilson plays Leslie Vernon's mentor. Now, this mentor may or may not be Billy from Black Christmas. It's a fan theory that's floating around out there, and I kind of like it. So if you're curious and you'd like to check out Black Christmas, well, you can currently find it streaming for free with commercials on Crackle, Voodoo, and... Pluto TV. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of another Film Geek video. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and uh, give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's another thing you could do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.